Wow, there's a lot coming on this parade. You notice this lovely lady standing here to my right also with her camera. This is Celeste Rogers. <laughs> she is doing a thing here in Douglas County now called the Douglas County Digest. And she is filming the parade, filming stuff in the park. All so day. let's get started with Chief Chris Ray driving the Newman Police car. You can tell he's being followed by American Legion Post 201 Color Guard. We appreciate all they do for the community. We appreciate all the soldiers have done for us. They're followed by the Auxiliary Color Guard of Judy Pollock, Diane Kincaid, Angie Batt, and Dolores Foster. You can hear the familiar tones of Paul Henson, the bagpiper. Paul's been a a steadfast person here with us for the parade and for many other things that go on in the community. He's not too far away. It's always a pleasure to have him around. I'm sure if none of you have ever tried playing that instrument before, he can tell you it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. He does a great job. Here we have Miss Newman of 2011-2012, Karen Kibler, and the car is driven by Marcia Cone Skinner. How you doing, Karen? <laughs> Had a little trouble there with the breeze? <laughs> She's followed by little Mr. and Miss Newman. We have Molly, Molly Appleby and Dylan Skinner there. See, sometimes things don't get written down over here, so that's why I got Blake here to help me find these things. They'll be turning their crowns over this evening, 6 o'clock, to the new one. And that will be two of the people in this pickup going by right now. These are the contestants this year vying for little Mr. and Miss Newman. So be sure and get out, look for the boxes, and cast your vote. Penny a, a vote. That's how we do her. Now look out. Next is the Edgar County Motor Clowns. These guys get a little wild and crazy on the motor scooters. That's why I said you might want to watch out, keep your feet to yourself, because they may run over them. They've been helping children with 100% free care for many, many years, and they've been coming to Newman to, to entertain us and be a part of our festival for a long, long time now. We really appreciate them, appreciate all they do for the children. Mine does a beef like that. It's a pleasure to have you fellas join us each year. Thank you so much for coming to Newman. I'm also happy to see that this year they're coming through a little slower. Most of the time I'm reading is like a speed reader trying to keep up with them. So this has been great. They're doing a super job so far this year. <laughs> Here comes one of the trucks of the Newman Fire Department, number one. I'm sure most of you are aware they have a new firehouse right here north of the railroad tracks, just a block north of us. So if, you, if you're visiting town for the first time or coming back for a visit and haven't seen it yet, it's worth the drive to go down here across the tracks and look on the east side. Beautiful new building. A lot of the new amenities that we need to help us in protecting the, the buildings, the businesses, and the homes of Newman. Appreciate all their efforts. Looks like Jim Sandstrom's driving that one. Hi, Jim. How's it going today? Looks like the first neighbor bank's moving our way now. Bucky says rates are low. That's their mascot. Great time to refinance. Stop by and see your friends at the first neighbor bank. Wayne, Kim, Cindy, Kathy, Jill, Liz, Samantha, Sarah, and Shelby. And I might add, Friday's a good time to go down and visit them because they have cookies in the lobby. <laughs> Neighbor Express bus is following them through. A lot of you might not know they had that. So here they are. I bet they got the air conditioning going in that one. What do you bet me? Oh, it is. I was just told it's the 100th anniversary of there. So hey, First Neighbor Bank celebrating 100 years. Maybe they'll have extra cookies. <laughs> there we have a truck for the Douglas County Republicans. I'm sure as most of you are aware, this is an election year, so no parade would be complete without having at least some politicians or some of their good friends walking through and uh, representing them. I'll bet that's uh, John Albin's outfit there pulling it the way it looks. Here comes Will Cooley over to the table. 
Oh, something for me? Thanks, Will. They're, uh, they have their theme, We Belong Together. Here we have the second place winner in the parade. Like I said, the bank gives prizes. And this is the Newman Rehab and Healthcare Center. They want to say a thank you to Larry Ziegler for driving for them. And Christman Farm Supply donated the trailer. They asked you to come out on June 20th, that's this coming week, for a complimentary ice cream social at the, at the rehab center. Deb Burgess is the acting director out there. She always has fun with the residents. And they are, there's a few of them there with her on the float today. We have Myra Gebhardt, Carl Ziegler, Darlene Gailey, Don Rawlings, Guy Harbaugh, Lee Latona, Nestor House, Elva Martin, and Janet Pollock. See, I told you there'd be one I'd have to hustle through on. Next is Kincaid Electric. Uh, Grant Kincaid, uh, you need to see him for all your electric needs, anytime, anywhere. He's right here in town. Oh, he's just a phone call away. Tip off the old block. Came back. His dad used to be here while electrical stuff for us in town. Here we have the Chilo High School Cheerleaders. Stephanie Dean, Cheyenne Weber, Lauren Vizina, Desiree Brown, Tayana Wengler, Allison Dillon, Carla Madden, and their sponsors are Jody Baxter and Jessica Warner. They're trying to out cheer me here. You girls, we wish you a lot of luck this year. Hope everything goes well for you and the team over at Shiloh. Now they're getting pushed through here by fire department truck number two. And who's that in the rider's seat? It's none other than Brooke Clark. She was our uh, little person of honor this morning at the uh, race we had, the 5K run and biathlon. Next is the... Little League Softball Shiloh B and C Girls Team. Thanks to everyone who comes out, supports the games, and they want to say a special help. thank you to everyone that supported them last night with their fish fry. Looked like a great crowd. I know it was good food. I went and had part of it myself. Next we have Sue Fraser in a golf cart. Got it all decorated up nice for the Freedom Festival Parade, following with our theme and passing out some candy for the joy of the crowd. Busy Bee Plumbing. Fairly new business here in, uh, in Newman, Craig Bisbee, always available for your plumbing and heating needs there at 508-9608. He told me last night, feel free to call him, he's nearby and available. Here we have Dennis Ray with a 1957 Farmall 450, owned and restored by Dennis Ogie Ray. Another golf cart going through, Billy Jack there passing out some candy. And a little cart going through, all decorated up. Lots of kids' vehicles this year. This was, well, they went to a lot of trouble to decorate that one up. They got it completely wrapped up like a present. Here we have Bob Ferris on the 4010 John Deere. Paint dry on that yet, Bob? It sure looks shiny. Yeah. <laughs> Next we have the Shiloh T-Ball team. Adam Milber driving it. Hi kids, having a good time? Good. Restoration General Store, days gone by. They got first place in the float. She put a little effort into it and put together something for us here at Newman. I think she's got something else coming through the parade a few uh, other positions back. Did a nice job of decorating that trailer up for us today. Remembering and bringing back simpler times of days gone by. She wants to thank everyone that comes to her store and supports them. Have the Hume Fire Department. Thank you for coming over today. The Illini Shrine Club, parading to help kids. They support 22 different hospitals for the kids. How you doing? Got air conditioning in that thing? Thanks for being here today.
every day, guys. I really appreciate it on this warm day. Well, like I said, sometimes things sneak in on me, and I don't have anything on the chart for this. It looks like they got the raw weld. Oh, there's Mary Pond and her Corvette, remembering the, those that uh, served the USA. God bless all those that serve. Next, we have Miss Tuscola 2012. Kylie Amick. Nice to have you with us today, Kylie. Been having fun this year? Well, I'm glad you can make it today. Sorry it's so warm. We'll try to work on that. <laughs> Next is Junior Miss Tuscola and Little Miss Tuscola. The Junior Miss is Madeline Claybaugh and Little Miss Tuscola is Lauren Wood. Riding in style in another Corvette. Next is Little, our Junior Miss. Moultrie Douglas County, Lexi Sluter, and Little Miss Moultrie County, Moultrie Douglas 2011, 2012 Junior Miss Oakland, Chelsea Fiddler, and 2012 Little Miss Oakland, Abigail Warman, and a good looking Mustang. Cross Masonry business right here in town. They do rest masonry and restoration. They did the fire station brick work up here. Volunteer. We appreciate all your help for the city of Newman. John McGee with an Oliver 88 and an Oliver corn picker with an Oliver wagon. Got her set up pretty nice, all all of her outfits, hard to come by. This one's Andy Woverton with his 1945 Model 2N Ford. His parents bought this tractor back when they started farming. Andy stepped in the family. Next we have Marty Robinson with a 1953 Alice WD-45. Sounds good, Marty. Got her running good. John Deere 50 tractor, it's a 1953 model owned by Larry Rose. This is the Douglas County Farm Bureau Young Ag Leaders Club. They got third place in the contest this year. Ed Ash on a 1968 4020. John Deere. Chris McGee with an International 806 Diesel. Probably be in line with the show for the rest of the day, won't you, Chris? Stop by and take a look at these tractors. Some really nice looking old tractors. Cody Bosch on the John Glenn John Deere 4020. And Mark Dillon with his 1952 John Deere A. Mark and his wife Jennifer put together the uh, tractor show will be going on for the rest of the day once we get uh, the parade done. They'll come back and set up and uh, we'll be going strong. Pulling all their race cars where they go on the weekends. Keeps them busy. Mike Wagner with an Alice Chalmers 180. It's a 1968 model. Good looking John Deere Diesel 4010. You'll notice this one has the narrow front end. All the others that went through had the wide one. This is Jared Fender driving. Nineteen forty-four Formal H, owned by Emery and driven by Stacy Keys. Got a place there for a buddy seat in the back. Here we have another Farmall A, Jason Burgess, 1947 model. Oliver, Super 77. These tractors have some great paint jobs on them. This one's driven by Dirk Moore. Well, at least I'm 
Matt Davis with a 1956 Alice BWD45. Kevin Davis on a 1942 Alice Chalmers WC. Thank goodness Blake is here. All these went up and signed up at the last minute at the beginning of the parade route. So we're trying to work our way through it and hope we get everybody's name right. A 1935 John Deere A. Owner, Ross Wilson from Windsor, Illinois came a little ways. Thanks for coming up and joining us today. Tony and Linda Burr. Their mule team of Pete and Polly from Villa Grove. Hi Linda, how are you? Tell me, glad to have you with us today. Did you bring Linda to help clean up after him as you're going through the route? <laughs> Silo FFA. Don't forget they have dinner tonight from 4.30 to 6.30, the fried chicken meal. Did that get close enough to you, you can get her, Blake? <laughs> Popsicle came flying her way. Go right ahead, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm too busy to talk. <laughs> Shiloh FFA Raiders. There's another one over here. Here we have the XPOW North Korea, Clayton McElwee from Georgetown. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with him. He comes around and has given programs at the school and different things around the community. Known Clayton for quite a few years. The Emmanuel Lutheran Church from Broadlands, Illinois. The parish on the prairie. All Christians are welcome to come join them. They're a couple miles north of Broadlands and then west about a mile. Pretty easy to get to. Been there a few times. It is. Carly and Kaylee Campbell on their four wheeler. And this is a tractor from Berkey's in Oakland. Like I mentioned earlier, they're always good supporters. They're donators today for the. Uh, uh, kids inflatables that we have in the park. Looks like Chris Gordon driving it. I'm sure Chris has had a lot of experience driving those red tractors. Maybe that's his. Maybe he bought it. And they just delivered it today, so he's driving in the parade. And is that the last of the Blake? Well, it looks like we've reached the end of our parade. So we thank everybody for coming out, staying with us. Let us know if you like the bleacher idea. Since we had it up here for the race earlier, we thought it'd just be handy to go ahead and turn it and give people a place to sit and watch the parade and get some more people into a smaller area. So uh, once again, we want to thank you all for coming out. We want to thank all the participants in the parade. We'd like to thank the First Neighbor Bank for sponsoring it and all the work they do setting it up and putting it together for us.